Steph Curry is greater than Magic Johnson. Crazy as that sounds, to some people it may not be so crazy, but um, I think if you're like above the age of 40 or 50, or if you're somebody that likes to hold on to the narrative, then yeah, it's gonna come as a shock to you. I have my own brain. I'm not one of those people that sit there and wait on first take or any analyst rather to sit there and tell me about basketball. I just busted right inside him. He seems a little overwhelmed by my girth and tonnage. What'd you say? I think I understand basketball to a good enough degree for me to go ahead and give my own take. And Stephen Curry, to me, is definitely a, a better basketball player than Magic Johnson. Definitely the, the greatest point guard of all time. Some people don't want to give Stephen Curry that moniker of uh, greatest point guard of all time because he's not getting a whole bunch of assists. And for everyone, they feel like point guard role is distribution. As far as I'm concerned, you're not necessarily wrong, but Stephen Curry still plays the point guard position. And I think that times like right now are just a little bit different. So I want y'all to have an open mind as to why I think this way, you know? Let's start this off by making sure that we pray right magic johnson is the greatest passer ever you know what i'm saying i've never seen a better one even though i've only been able to watch through highlights but uh i don't want to diminish you know what i'm saying he is the greatest passer ever like when it comes to like the role of point guard i'd say he's the best at that like what people think of when they think like the idea of point guard but to me it's just not 1996 or 1991 you know what I'm saying? It's 2023 where I don't think I, I see any point guards that are only distributing, to be honest with you. I think my bottom line when it comes to Magic Johnson and Stephen Curry is that the best players ever that's ever played this game are great scorers. Magic Johnson just isn't that great of a score. You know what I'm saying? That sounds nuts, but it's the truth. Why do we love Kobe Bryant? Why do, like, why do people love Larry Bird? Why do people love Michael Jordan? You know what I'm saying? Why do people love Wilt? Why do people love Kareem? Why did, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Hakeem Olajuwon would not be known if he didn't win championships because he could score. The only person that really embarrassed Shaq, you know? Scoring, it's not the only thing that matters, but it, like, scoring matters more than everything in basketball. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. If you want to disagree, disagree. But what comes first in basketball is scoring. Stephen Curry is a lot better at that. I think that people have like this notion that Stephen Curry shouldn't be looked at as a point guard because he's not passing. If you had the greatest shooter on your team, are you telling him to pass the ball? Because that is LeBron's problem. That's how I see it. That's for another video though. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna get into that now. I, I literally see that as like LeBron's problem. Why would you make the greatest shooter of all time pass the ball? Why would you make his role to pass the ball? If you have the greatest shooter of all time, you should be trying to find ways to get him the rock. Imagine like LeBron wasn't a passer and they focused on him scoring. The man could have had 40K points like two, three seasons ago. Like, people have to understand that roles matter. In addition to putting the ball in the bucket, Stephen Curry is the greatest off-ball player we've ever seen. Um, great off-ball players. We sit there and we think about Reggie Miller. We think about um, Ray Allen. Stephen Curry is better than both of them at it. He studied Reggie Miller to a T. We know that he was running through moving screens at first, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? Not only is he the greatest, like, greatest player without the ball in his hand and the greatest shooter who changed basketball with his shooting. Now everybody shoots threes no matter what position you but also, I only have two players in the top 10 that don't average at the very least 20 points. And one of them is 16th in scoring. His name is Tim Duncan. The other player is Magic Johnson, who's all like literally 70 spots lower at 86. In addition to not necessarily having that much time, Magic Johnson also had a lot more to work with. Whereas besides when KD was there, Stephen Curry was literally the best scorer on the team. There was only three years where Stephen Curry played with a scorer that was better than him in scoring. While Magic Johnson, pretty much the whole team was better than him in scoring. He also, his career was shortened, so he didn't have as much time to play the game as everyone else. And I'm sure that he, he, he wishes that. But you can't fault Steph Curry, you know what I'm saying? Like people do that with like hip hop, when they be like, oh, well, Tupac is great. Tupac is not top 15 hip hop or rap artists. You know what I'm saying? Tupac has been dead since 96. Ain't no way you trying to tell me 
that we ain't had greater people come in from 1996 to 2023. Because <laughs> that is crazy. Uh, that's a whole different conversation. It's just a comparison. People have come in while Magic Johnson have been gone. And to be honest, the game has just transformed. I would not build my squad around a Magic Johnson today. I would build a team around Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry doesn't need the ball in his hand. It doesn't mean he can't pass. Man, I have seen Steph Curry, even, even with like the first four or five games into this season, you know what I'm saying? I have seen Steph Curry give some unbelievable passes, some beautiful ones, you know what I'm saying? Just because he can pass, it doesn't mean that he should because his greatest attribute is scoring. You should be using your greatest players by their greatest attributes. And yeah, he can average eight assists, nine assists a game. But do you want to win? Because we all got upset looking at LeBron pass when we know damn well we wanted him to score a lot of the time. Because who's going to stop him? Magic Johnson publicized the game. Magic Johnson, along with, you know, Larry Bird and Michael Jordan, just because he publicized the game and made it possible for Curry to make more money and have the platform that he does. Does that mean that he's greater? Because last time I checked, I don't see anybody anybody saying that Julius Irvin is better than Michael Jordan. I, I think the other thing that people kind of go by is like, uh, you know, the finals MVPs. Like Magic lost out on finals MVPs to James Worthy and to Curry. The same way how Curry lost out on MVPs to Kevin Durant and Andre Iguodala. They both were amazing. If you're counting, Magic has three finals MVPs to Steph Curry's one. I think that as far as like play on the court, you have to hold Curry from half court line. I think that he's more of a threat and the team really has to worry about him more than anything else. He's a threat without the ball in his hands. He doesn't have to be ball dominant to be effective. Um, he's the greatest shooter of all time, the greatest player without the basketball in his hands. I would rather take him, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like you would rather have Magic in his passing, you know what I'm saying? And you feel like that's the best thing for point guard, then I guess, like, okay, I get it. Me personally, I'm taking Steph Curry. For me, Steph Curry is the greatest point guard of all time. If I was building a team, I would want Steph Curry to be on that team. Uh, even though you may have to hide him on D, I don't think Magic Johnson was some great defender either, even though he was like 6'9". Uh, and I don't think that Magic Johnson is a greater threat on the court than a Stephen Curry. I just don't. I don't see him as a greater threat. I see Stephen Curry uh, with all the threes that he can take because Magic Johnson is not taking no threes. He is taking twos, 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 twos. And he is only taking I got Steph Curry with the threes and added more pressure. In addition to the gravity that he has. Magic Johnson also has gravity, not trying to lie. Anyways, I don't want to make this too long. This was my first NBA video. Uh, tell me how you felt about it. I have not made an NBA video. It's been a long time. So if y'all like these, please drop a like. Let me know how you felt about it in the comment section. What's some stuff y'all would want me to make a video on? Y'all have like some ideas. I definitely have like, what if LeBron only scored? <laughs> what if LeBron's only role was to score? I think that people don't realize how much roles really matter. I think that Stephen Curry staying in his role and scoring instead of trying to score and pass has made him a greater player. Maybe that's what I make a video about and how like the dual role has only like hurt players, you know? Um, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all with my first installment of these kinds of things. Um, hopefully I can hit y'all with another one if y'all like this. See ya.